breaking the wall of diabetic foot ulcers. Magdalene Ho, Falling Walls Lab, Singapore. How often have we gotten a wound but never thought twice about whether it would heal? I never used to, until my grandpa had diabetes. If you're diabetic, a small wound can very quickly change your life. 18 million diabetic patients a year will suffer from diabetic foot ulcers, of which 8% will not heal for months or even years. It's not just excruciating, it's a ticking time bomb. These wounds are highly susceptible to infection that could lead to tissue death and eventually amputation. This is the harsh reality faced by 1.6 million diabetic patients. That's over 4,000 amputations a day. So why are some wounds so hard to heal? In wound healing, we require a specific type of proteins called growth factors. But in many diabetic patients, the concentration of growth factors at wound are often too low to initiate healing. Hence, a strategy is to supplement these wounds with additional growth factors. But there are a few major challenges. Inefficient delivery, safety, and costly production. Current delivery strategies through a gel or a spray is highly inefficient with nothing to hold the proteins in place. As it travels through the body, it might cause unwanted tissue growth, increasing the risk of cancer. In addition, these growth factors are expensive to produce and often require sub-zero storage. But what if we can change this? For the past five years, I've been developing a super plaster that can use our body's own proteins to heal itself. Simply placed onto the wound, the super plaster leverages on our lab's patented traps technology to attract and concentrate proteins towards the wound, holding them in place until required. When needed, cells at the wound actively grab and pull onto traps to release the growth factors to accelerate healing. It's like unwrapping a gift. I validated this in animal studies and human skin samples. The result? Healing that's 2.5 times faster in addition to being safer and more cost effective. These plasters are a game changer. They are also temperature stable, making them accessible to frontline and low resource environments. And it gets better. These benefits can be adapted onto different materials to target different types of wounds, such as burn wounds, bones, and even the heart. So I stand here today seeking supporters to bring this plaster to clinic so that we can strive to save the pain, the limbs, and the lives of the 1.6 million diabetic patients, including our loved ones. Thank you.